You ever think I'm exaggerating how pale my lips are? I'm gonna use the Milk Cooling Jelly Tint. This is what I use. And I'm like back to life already. Like don't play. Lip Tilbury. Mm. Lip oil. I love her. I'm gonna try the Tatcha Silk Sunscreen because when they took us to play pickleball, I'm pretty sure this is what they were promoting, so. Cause I tried this, the mist, that I got misted at the event, but I didn't actually get a chance to try the skin, the skincare, the sunscreen. So we're gonna try it with my makeup today. Ooh, cute. Two full fingers. Ooh, it's like beige. Thought it was gonna be white. That's what it looks like. Ooh. Ooh, it feels so silky. They were very correct. I used the Fenty Hydrating Foundation for the first time the other day, and it's tea. It was my perfect shade match. I didn't even have to make a concoction. It just matched. I definitely didn't leave the sunscreen enough time. <laughs> you don't blend gently and do not drag on your face. Your neck is fine. When I first started doing my makeup, I used to go <laughs> like a crazy person. Um, this big ass hair, you've gotta go. You don't, you don't even pay rent. You don't get to stay here. Oh, and you bought a cousin. She's evicted too. Me trying to low-key copy how I did my makeup yesterday, just trying a bunch of random shit because it came out really good. I'm using the Cram Shop blush that I used yesterday in Cheeky Pinky because this was really pretty. Like I'm blushing guys. Okay, I got like 40% of the makeup done. Eyes, lip liner. I bought a bajillion wigs because I told you guys I've been having fun with it. And I'm actually gonna make this a full install for next week's video. So I'm actually not gonna show it to you guys in the vlog <gasps> because you gotta watch the video. I wanna see how doing hair videos does again because they're fun. I'm actually gonna try a new lip that I got at Ulta the other day. This is the NYX Lingerie XXL in shade Flaunt It. It looks like a deep nude pink, but I don't know. <gasps> it smells good. It smells so yummy. Oh, it's like a very muted pink, actually. Oh, this is a lot more of a muted pink that I think I was going for today, but just, let's just see where we end up. Oh, wow. It's kind of gray. Mm. Mm -mm. I think the lip is nice. It applies well, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. I'm just not looking for the shade today. So I'm gonna use the Huda Beauty Bombshell Liquid Matte Lip instead. Or just right over it, because I don't feel like taking it off. Kinda wanna try my Kiss and Press lashes again because these were my thing during the summer. And then I kind of came home and shoved them so far in my lash drawer, they were towards the back and I kind of forgot I had them. And then I just saw them and I was like, wait, I was obsessed. I'm doing my highlight because I've fallen back in love with highlight lately. And I'm mixing this middle shade in the Creme Shop palette, the Natural Neutrals palette, and the Fenty Beauty. How many carrots? This gives me more of a base because the Fenty is kind of just glitter. I'm doing silver tones because the wig is white. So I feel as though that might work the best. Like look at that glowy dewy face. I just set my face so minimal movement. Damn, I forgot how good these lashes were. I have four clusters on. One, two, three, four. You're not eating like this, period. Wow, girls, this is the hair. I am about to put it up though because it's driving me insane. Um, Because it's like, it has this like bump that I can't get rid of. It's just like, I think it's just too new. I don't wash wigs when I first get them because I sanitize them in a different way. But I think I'm gonna start like washing these because I wash human hair ones, but I think I thought sanitizing was enough for me. And I'm the more I wear them, the more conscious I am that I didn't wash it before I put it on. And it's like making me feel crazy. So <laughs> I'm gonna wash this. And I feel like when I wash them, they'll be flatter. That's how my brain is telling me that's gonna work. So wait, the ponytail's kind of cute. I was gonna do a claw clip, but I was just doing a ponytail first. Guys, you have five seconds to tell me what you think. Your time's running out. The back of my head, not my business nor my concern. Asks how I do hairstyles like this because of like the corners and stuff. I literally just take hair from the ponytail or whatever and pull it down until it covers like the wig enough. Going to the store, so I need to uncutify myself a little bit. So let's take um, the lashes off. I need to give like, don't even look my direction because you're not gonna like what you see. And then for streamlight, I'll just put mascara on because I don't want to put those back on. That's gonna take me too long. So I'm gonna go just like this. Period. I'm gonna put on mascara because I forgot I wanted to make some TikToks. And I should probably make them before I leave. Once I go outside, I feel like my makeup is just up to whatever direction the wind wants to take it, so I should do that. Oh, I just got my hair on this perfect ponytail though. Maybe I'll just make them when I get back because what's the point of trying to make TikToks about my hair and I got a ponytail on? I can't tell if these glasses look good on here because I'm used to my old reliables. 
but I feel like I don't know why I keep these because it feels like no matter what, they don't look good. But then it's like Harry Potter. I think these are my second favorites. Okay, I just got to Whole Foods. Whole Foods is our first stop because everybody telling me Whole Foods is the best grocery store to get fruits from. They have the best fruits. So let's see. I'm not gonna lie, they do got good fruits. <laughs> so fresh. The Ralphs I go to every week cannot relate. They have really good vegetables here, guys. Like, this is good vegetables. I need to stop going to Ralphs. Look, they have snacks at Whole Foods. This is a nightmare. Look, this is some cookies and cream. Oh, wait, I love these waffle things. These things, I'll be tearing them up. Whole Foods kind of eats. I fear I'm gonna have to go there a little more frequently. I liked how little I spent. And I only spent like 117, and I know only because that's a big number still. I usually spend way more. Rouse is taxing. So I liked that. I liked that. My rock candy broke. Personally, I'm so I can like me. We're almost to, we're going to, I don't know where the hell we're going. Something's in the GPS. I wanted to make a sandwich. That was the whole reason I went to the damn store, remember? But it's already eight o'clock, so we need to just make a sandwich and shit. If I'm good. My ribbon is so cute, guys. I'm taking it out though. I want to take this hair out of this ponytail. It's been kind of like making my head feel a little compressed. Oh, you know what? I think it's because it's in a ponytail. The tension, because back here doesn't fit right. It's like pulling on my hair. Ooh, I should have known better to tie something wig tight like this. Uh oh, this is so cosplay core. Mm, mm, mm. I should do my little braids. I'm gonna do my braids and we'll make dinner. We'll warm dinner, it's already made. It's just not hitting for me, it's really not. I'm not liking her, I'm actually quite bored with her. Like, this doesn't speak to me at all. She's actually boring me, like I'm falling asleep. It's it's giving snooze fest, so she's gotta go. Also, if you're wondering why I have a dress on, um, I don't know either. I just wanted to put something on to film in. Look at my glasses. We've been talking twice a week, and I like to speak. Let me tell you, discovering Pink Panthers is an honor. I discovered her and I've been honored ever since. Why, did I, why didn't I wear these glasses sooner? These glasses are so cute. She's so gorgeous. Okay, anyway, let's braid, big ass braid. Make sure you get all the little bangs. Braid two. These are the only braids I can do. Technically, I possess the capability to technically braid cornrows. Like I can do it technically, but they don't look good. They look horrible. They look really bad and they don't look like what you think they look like. They're not clean. And on top of that, they're messy. All my hair is out. They're just not good cornrows. Like I just don't know what I'm doing when it comes to cornrows. I try my best, but with cornrows, girl, it's never enough. That jean really did skip me. Like I'm talking like, right over me. Also, I would like, this dress is from Taobao. I would like it so much more if this didn't stop on the side. Like, there's no continuity. Like, the back is cute, but it's like just the back. Mm, it's kind of boring me. What a clean braid. You only got all the hair in. Now, taking this off is gonna be annoying. Cause I realized when I rip wigs off my head, they kind of leave these like tension bumps. I don't like that. Why don't little sisters ever answer the phone? Like ever? I'd probably get a hold of her. Two thirds. No, that's, that gives her too much credit. One fifth of the time, I'm literally calling her to see if she wants the dress. And she not gonna answer. And you know what she's gonna be doing when she calls me back? Sitting in her bed, sitting there, just looking at the wall. But when I miss her call, I get a crazy looking like look on her face when I call back. She's like, what were you doing? What were you so busy doing? Also, I wanna start watching Spy X Family again because I was watching it a couple of weeks ago and then I think something happened and I just totally, I found, I think I found Vanderpump Rules. I found Vanderpump Rules, so I just started binging Vanderpump Rules. By the way, finished and caught up. That show's outrageous. Now I'm gonna go back and finish watch it because that was good TV. And I forgot about her. I kinda wanna rewatch Tower of God, but I bought the manga to Tower of God, so I'm like, should I read it? I don't know, but then I also need to read Jujutsu Kaisen because I've yet to do that. So many things to do, so little time. I'm gonna warm my dinner. Ouch! And um, I did rip it off. Ooh, yeah, let's just keep her there for now. Oh my gosh, I look like a grandma from a cartoon. Got my chicken. Oh, I think I have one more night of chicken. And then I still have some broccoli. I have a lot of broccoli. I literally made like two stars. Okay, I literally have just enough food for tomorrow. I didn't do that thing, it's like... Period. Dinner, dinner. Mm. 
I only like vegetables when they're crunchy. I have to go back to the dentist because ever since I got my cat for this tooth, my bite, at first it was just sensitive, but now it's a little painful. Which I just uh, adjust it, I'm not excited about. So I'm also gonna get these cats. Mm. I brought you all here to try on this wig that I sliced and diced on accident when I was opening the box when it first came to my house. This is part of my era of trying every cute synthetic wig I see because I have more than enough human hair wigs to, I don't know, I don't even know what to do with. I can't style hair, so they're kind of like purposeless for me. So synthetic wigs are kind of fun to play in. And I have a lot of different ones. Should I do a fun colored one? I wanted to do like natural colored girl today, but I also have this. You wait here. You're not coming with me to get it. You're gonna wait here by my desk. I have this. It's like pink and white, and then I have these like blue and green ones. Maybe if you guys really like this and you're very receptive to this, we can make this more of a consistent series on YouTube than I have been on TikTok because I've been really wig happy on TikTok, but I feel like TikTok's like tired of seeing me and I don't know. So let me know. That was a lot of talking for no reason. So the wig we're trying today is the Dashley wig. Curly bangs, lace unit 45, chunky highlight blonde. Pre-plucked with baby hair, ear to ear lace. Okay. Deep center part, uh oh. I feel like every time there's a dark wig, it's really hard to make the lace look good because you just have these black dots on the lace. This is the packaging. This is where I was a crazy monster and sliced the box open. Yes! It's my favorite thing to do. No one understands how much I love doing that. It's so fun. I do hate cleaning it up after it. It's, it's very annoying. Oh, I forgot this had highlights. Okay, this might be real cute. Period. <gasps> I'm supposed to stream at six today. It's 5.59. So I feel like, you know, we can, we can, we can. I don't know. <coughs> clean it. Don't, don't worry about what's in the spray bottle. Like I don't, sh I don't clean nothing on camera cause y'all get nasty. Oh, that's not how you, shut, shut up. You clean yours how you clean yours and I'll clean my, how I clean mine. <gasps> I love it already. I love it already. <gasps> Guys, guys, wait. And the part's actually not that bad. I was prepared for a Cartoon Network part, but I fear it could be worse. I fear it could be worse. Now, this is what I meant with when you look hard enough, you just got a bunch of black dots, but I kind of love it. Why is this kind of fun and delicious and cute and beautiful? Can I do like different styles? I'm so glad you guys can't see below here because my boobs are fully out, period. <gasps> I like this. Okay, okay, let me get the, let me get the. Why does it always look like someone's behind me? Like I can. Lace tint, we gotta tint the lace. Should we glue it down, glue it down? What's the vibe? I really like it. Let's glue it down, glue it down. We're gonna be serious. I took that white wig off so fast. I gotta give her time. She needs to live life. Like she needs to give me a, a chance to be on my head for real. Streaming today and I'm really excited because I haven't had a chance to stream. I do this a lot with streaming. I stream on Twitch and I used to be a really consistent streamer. Like it used to give almost daily streaming at one point and then I stopped because daily streaming is a bit hard when you like do events and things like that because sometimes I'm not home to do it. So then I switched to like four or five times a week streaming. That didn't last. Then I moved to New York temporarily and I was like, oh shit, I kind of can't keep up with that because I moved to New York to join the Live Nation house and the whole point of us being in the house was we had to go to concerts. I was always out super late and I would come home and I'd be too tired to stream. So tint, I mean lace tinted. So. I didn't get a chance to stream then. And then when I'm finally back home, now I'm always tired. So I just can, it just wasn't given. <gasps> it just wasn't giving, but I'm gonna stream today. I was supposed to stream at six, but um, it's gonna be six soon. And this week is not nearly installed. So it's gonna have to give seven PST. I stream on Twitch for the most part, but I've been like dabbling. I've been dabbling in YouTube streaming. <gasps> I know, but people say it's good. And I trust the people. Where are my scissors? Cause I'm gonna have to do some chopping on the block. Like she's she's gonna need a. Now wait a second. She's a little frank. Okay, we'll we'll talk about it. We'll talk about it then. Everybody shut up. Give me a second. Seriously, seriously, you're stressing me out. Like stop, stop. I wish you could bleach the knots on synthetic wigs. The fact that you can is a sick joke. Let me tint my cap a little bit. Where do we want this? Where's the where's our forehead today? Our forehead can give. No, that's too small. That's, 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 that's good. If you're not new here, have I ever told the story about how I thought I was going to die one time out clubbing with my friend? Now this is back when Shallon was a, was a club rat. I used to be at the mother club. Like 
I used to be, I used, what? Oh, that was me. I used to be at the club. Like I was out every other night. I was like 21, 19, 20, 21. I was out every single night. And I mean every single night at every bar at every club. Like if, if there was a party, I was at it. My friend and I, we used to drive all the way to Austin to go party because Austin had all the good bars. Where I lived, the nightlife just wasn't really it. It was kind of boring and at the time, I'm like 20, 21, and everyone would be hella old. So I would be like, okay, um, I'm young and tired, so I need other young and tired people. So we would drive all the way to Austin to go party. <gasps> what the heck? We would drive all the way to Austin to go party because Austin has 6th Street. 6th Street is a, a street full of bars. It's just one straight shot. It's just a, full of bars and bars and bars. So we're out there, and I think it's like 4th of July. Oh, wait, no, we almost died twice. So I'll tell you all the 4th of July story the other time. So we're out there and we're we're in front of some club. It's called like Terminal 6. I think we used to go there all the time. We're just standing out in front. Um, we were just like out there talking to people and stuff like that. And then I get the nastiest feeling in like the pit of my stomach. And my stomach is like hurting. I'm like, why is the vibe weird? The vibe's weird here. We need to move. We're standing like directly in front of the doors almost. And I tell my friend and I'm like, hey, um, we need to move. And she's like, okay. Like she doesn't really question me much. She, Addie and I are both like pretty chill. So I think the alarm in my voice, in my eyes, she was like, okay. So we move and we walk down 6th street. Terminal 6 is this way, our car is parked that way. But we walk down this way because we weren't planning on leaving. We were just moving from the spot cause I was tripping. I was like, nah, dude, like we need to move from here. I, I don't feel good standing here. And Addie was like, all right, let's move. So we move, maybe 10 minutes go by and we've moved to like another part of the street. And all of a sudden we hear, bam. And we're like, what is that? They shoot a lot in 6th Street, I'm not gonna lie. There's been a couple times when I started talking, I was like, wait, this has happened more than once, where people start shooting in 6th Street, on 6th Street. We're not surprised. We're a little frightened because, I mean, it's a gunshot, that's scary. So we're kind of just like making sure that's what it was. Plus, to be honest, they shoot a lot in Texas. So even when we go to bars in like our actual city, they shoot all the time. Like, like, like I can't, I couldn't tell you, like all the time. They just pop, 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 you hear it all the time. Sorry, I was too into the story. Make sure you do your glue. I use Bold Hold Active. I'll have everything I use linked in my shop, my, including the wig and my earrings even. They're so cute. And we're basically just gonna dot around the hairline. That's the method I find best. I don't do the bald cap method because I really don't find that it makes a difference anymore. I just still wear a wig cap because I'm kind of bald under. So I don't love feeling the wig on my head. But anyway, we're kind of waiting to see if we see people running because that's the clear distinction that something definitely happened. And no one's running until they are. And then people start running and we're like freaking out a little bit. We're like, Wait, 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 like we literally can't leave. Like our car is this way. Like we need to go this way. We need to be in the direction that we just heard that from. So we're kind of tripping. We're kind of looking around like, oh my gosh, 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 oh my gosh. We're, we're like slowly making our way over there because people kind of stopped running. Like it was kind of quick. Like the thing that happened on 4th of July, it was a lot going on for a while. Everybody was running, it was crazy. This was kind of isolated and then it stopped. And we're like, okay, we need to we need to leave. Like now we just want to leave, but we, we simply can't unless we go get the car. Now in retrospect, we probably could have simply walked around and and went up the other way, but we were scared, honestly. We were like mentally frazzled, so we were we were functioning with 2% brain capacity. So we we're like, okay, don't do that. So we muster up some courage and we're like, we gotta go over there. So we walk over to where we were just at and there are police cars. There's like a like a cover covering something, I think. I don't remember that, spe that specific detail. I don't ever remember correctly. I don't remember if there was a cover covering or if they were just people, but we did, we couldn't see what actually happened. But we asked, we were like, what happened over there? And they were like, two people just got shot. We were like, oh my gosh, what the hell? Who, like what happened? And I don't think the person we were talking to knew. I don't remember if we were talking to an officer or not. Like my memory on the details are kind of spotty. Kind of wish Addie was here to tell the story. Um, Cause I'm not a good storyteller. But we ask and they're like, yeah, some two people just got shot. And we kind of look like, I don't know why we looked because why look at that? I really couldn't tell you, I have no idea. But we tried to look and all we saw were, I'm not gonna give details on what we saw, but we saw, we saw something and that was insane. It was actually pretty insane. And then as a, as we're standing there looking, I'm like, that's where we were standing. The exact area that the people, no, 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 I remember now. We saw, 
there was there was a distinction that there were people there that had passed away sadly and i realized that was exactly where we were standing before we walked away when i had that like feeling in my gut and i'm not really i don't know like i don't really feel like i have many situations where i have like great intuition i think i tend to have good intuition but ne it's never about anything like super serious it's always about like smaller things i don't know ex-boyfriend oh i think he's cheating on me that's not small but I, I feel like compared to like a human life that's pretty small i don't remember ever feeling that way in my life before like we need to move and something actually happened so it was just very jarring and and we were just both freaked out because we were like, oh my goodness, like somebody lost their life tonight and they're, and it was in the exact spot that we were standing in. What? We were just freaking out. We literally had to drive all the way back home that night. We were just driving dead silent like this. Like no one was talking, not even being funny. Like we literally were just like eyes wide, just sitting in the car and we just didn't talk. Like it was just so awkward. Cause we were just like, what just happened? Like, but let me change the subject. Cause I accidentally told y'all that super sad story. I'm so sorry. We're gonna put the wig on. I did two layers. You need to come, whoa, I put it down too far. Oh, well, it's too late. You're gonna put pressure on your lace. You're gonna put pressure on your lace because that is how you get adhesion. I saw one of the hairstyles I love say this. Actually, I've seen like most of them say this. And ever since then, I apply pressure to my lace, okay? Apply pressure as soon as you put it down. I'll literally just boom, boom, boom. Now this is a hefty, thick hairline. So she don't look as natural as she could. Whenever the sides kind of do this and you feel like you can't pull your ear out, I'll just take the long piece of lace, cut a little bit. I used to cut all the way back until I realized a tear just did the job. And now you can glue that piece down and, and tuck behind your hair if you want. Let me just fix this part. I never put enough glue down here, so I always have to go back and touch her up. I'm actually really the worst storyteller. I feel like that story was so slow. You know what's funny? I used to love story times, but now I can barely sit through one. And I don't know why. I think I don't love story times where I can tell you're trying to get me in. Like I was just kind of telling you guys that because I randomly thought of it while I was doing my hair. Like that wasn't the plan at all. I was just gonna show you this wig. I think when story time started to feel super clickbaity to me, I was like, I don't wanna watch this. And a lot of story times feel that way. I, I don't think I can think of a story time content creator that doesn't kind of like <gasps> try to reel you in because I mean, I guess that's the point. So I don't think it's like a bad thing, I guess, but I don't think it, it, it appeals to me. I don't think that makes me want to tap in. This looks, this looks nuts, but we're going to figure it out guys. Don't worry. <laughs> okay. Now we're going to put our band on. Do your band this way. I used to fight for my life trying to put it on the other way. And I don't understand why I was doing that at all actually. And let it sit and sinister and Fester. I'm gonna go eat a snack. My headband's ready to come off when it starts pushing my eyebrows down into my chin. Okay, we're looking pretty good. Honestly, this part is kind of slay. It's just a little too kempt, but I don't really want to pluck it because it's curly and I don't think I'll be able to pull out the hair because it's synthetic. So kind of just want to leave her as is. Now the forehead is giving microscopic, but this wig is so cute. I haven't even like done anything to make it look natural yet. It just kind of looks like this. Okay, what we are gonna do is just use the fingers and just poof her out a bit. Doll curls are not natural looking. You don't want it to look like some like doll curls. This you don't want, you're gonna pull that apart. You take pieces like this and you're gonna start, find the bottom, split them up a little, then go like that. And then they just look a little frizzy, like real hair. Like now it doesn't look as like perfect and spiral. And I do this all the time. I just take them and separate them, get some natural vibes going. Cause when anyone sees this, they're gonna know it's not my hair. So we need to stop them before they get the chance. We're gonna take our scissors. <gasps> I almost threw that into my leg, mind you. I'm gonna take this piece that's like right in my face and I'm gonna cut her. We're gonna make like an adult baby hair. We're gonna make a big ass chunk of edges because this hairline looks crazy. We gotta make it look natural. Then we need to cut our little, our little, this is crazy. This hairline is nuts. Okay, anyway, we're gonna take our little side piece. I think that this is good for the side piece. This, this curl is gonna be our side curl. We're gonna snip, snip. Now we got our little side curl bees. <laughs> I'm about to place the order right after this video. Guys, I love this wig. This looks so good. I'm just gonna separate some more pieces because back here is still looking kind of dolly. Parte! You could never think that quick on your feet. Like you could never think like that. You could never talk as fast like that. You know why you couldn't? Because I, help? I literally went into my nose like, ouch. Honestly, don't know why I have this much energy. I had like the shittiest day. <laughs> 
but I'm feeling great for some reason. Okay, this is gonna work. I feel like maybe we can pin these here so we don't have this clear distinction. Let's take a bobber pin and let's like pin these curls into this side so that it can kind of push them this way like that. Thank you. Ooh, ink. And that is gorgeous. I love it, actually. Now I love it. Sometimes you just need to cut it. Like if you get the urge to cut it, cut that shit. And then if we wanna flip it to this side, we can. And then if we wanna do a middle part, no, never. You shouldn't, at least I shouldn't, but you should. I'm gonna keep it over here, cause this looks good on me. And I love to tuck a hair behind my ear. Like that's my thing. I love my ears out. They look so cute. Cutie patootie little ear booty. Like, ah, she's adorable. Um, if you manufacture these wigs and you're seeing this right now, I'm going to bite you in the fucking head because why would you do this? Why would you, why would you let me sit here and make this video acting like thinking my edges were looking fine and then know that I'm gonna go in a mirror and see that they look like, that they look like, that they look like that. Hashtag that. The edge control I'm using is from this place because I can't say it, but it'll be in the shop my link, which should be in the description box of this video. Hey, I'm just using that and making some adult hairs because I know y'all hate big baby hair. I don't care, I love them. I love them, they're so cute to me. And I think that they're just so adorable. And you know what? I'm an adult, so I'm gonna have adult hairs. It makes sense. Getting ready to stream now. I just opened GTA. Oh my gosh, I love this game. Y'all, I love this game. It's so raggedy. I'm about to put this in a bonnet and just put a elastic band on because girl, I don't know how much this is gonna survive. We'll do a check-in tomorrow morning. We'll see where she's at tomorrow morning. I normally don't really sleep with a band on anymore just because I find it hasn't really helped much. Oh my gosh, I've never had a bonnet this full. When I used to have my afro, it would never fit in a bonnet. So I've never really seen what a full bonnet looks like. And I'm gonna put the band on for the shower, but then she's coming off after. And I'm gonna sleep with just the bonnet and we'll do a vibe check in the morning. I'm trying to block a disgusting man from making nasty ass comments under my picture and I accidentally blocked five random people. I feel like shit. I feel so embarrassed. But we need to take off our makeup. I'm just really embarrassed. I'm gonna use the milk makeup remover and some cotton pads. I just use it like this and then I do like this and then I do like this. And I just gently move them around. This white eyeliner is very good, but because of that, um, this shit don't like to come off at the end of the day. So look, they look like my closed eyes. And then after that, I just get kind of like an initial breakdown and very gently. You should be gentle with your face in general, but I'm extremely gentle because I have in contacts. I'll start to wipe away the rest of the eye. And then just wipe until I feel like I got everything. Take a look, Q-tip. I'm just gonna go at her. It's almost off. I don't know if you can even see it. I'll take the same Q-tip and I'll twist it. And I'll just drag it. Look how much makeup was still on my eye and I thought I removed most of it. Just give her a good drag through. I read that you're like your, there's like little ducts on your eyelids and making it clogged from not cleaning makeup off properly. And that's really bad for you. So I do it until she's clean. And then I know it tends to lift your lace, but I always give the lace a good swipe. Sorry, but I don't want makeup just like sitting in one part of my head because I'm wearing a lace wig. I'm gonna wipe it anyway. If it comes up, you fix it the next day. And I get all the skin and then I get the nose because she's in the center. I'm gonna actually just wash my face all together. I'm trying a new order of doing my little like nighttime routine. For cleanser, I've been using the Tatcha Matcha cleanser because it's been eating. My skin has been ha. B lately. She's been doing really well. We kind of just start, I love these things. They really, like the water has stopped from right there. Now we've got a good lather going. We're gonna wash it off. I used to think you're supposed to wash your face with hot water. Like I thought that was like helping my skin. I am also the same person that brushed their teeth with alcohol, so you know. Then I'm gonna use the Tatcha water cream, the Tatcha water cream. It's just the cream that goes with the cleanser. It's very lightweight compared to their purple one. If you've ever tried the regular Tatcha moisturizer, very lightweight. I'll show you what I've been liking a lot lately. I need to add these to my shop my. I don't think I've updated the skincare section of my shop my. Guys, we're literally doing our little skincare. Okay, now I'm gonna go shower. Well, I'm gonna show you the skincare stuff right here, but then actually I'll show you another day. I'm gonna try going to sleep kind of early and it's already 9.42. So I'm aiming for 10.30, so I need to shower, get out of the shower, eat dinner, and be in bed winding down by 10.20. I'll check in with you right before I go to bed. See you at 1029. You gotta shake her to release the different properties. 
I usually do it before my moisturizer, but then they said you're supposed to empty it out. I've been using this for a while. You clean it out, then you suck up a new one, and then you put it in the palm of your hand, and then you rub it. I go like this. I think my mom would really like this oil too. I'm gonna send her one. Look at my glasses, guys. They make my eyes look so little. Little tiny eyes. Mm -hmm. 